Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Physio. What we're going to look at in this module is how to create a basic network diagram. So if I just go back one step, you can see where these are. Let's cancel that off. So these are the categories down the bottom there. So the recently used categories, network, and then you can see the, all the different diagrams. Uh, this is the one I'm going to pick, the basic network diagram. You've got a couple of options there, little ideas how to do one. So I'm going to create, and then you get your stencils on the left, quick shapes, some shapes there, firewall, router, server, etc. Computers and monitors, network and peripherals, and so on. So these are all the stencils. And obviously you can search for other stencils as well. So let's have a quick look at what we've got in quick shapes. So I want a wireless access point. I want a server. Well, let's put a firewall there. And then a server. And now I need some PCs. So we need an Ethernet set junction point. So let's put that in there. Now what I've got on this right hand side is shape data activated so you can see whatever I click on it tells you what it is, that's the server, that's the firewall, that's the um, web access, wireless access point and there is a whole array of information there for you to fill in which we'll have a quick look at in a second so let's just position this where we want it to go. Now firewall got that there so I now need some PCs so let's just have three PCs one two three now there's lots of different um, features you can you can have in this now I need to go back to the home tab and put some connectors on here so remember from previous sessions if the whole thing goes green it's going the connector is a shape to shape which is what I want it to do that means if you move that shape around if I just pick this one up and move it around it will always go to the to the nearest point of that shape of that connector there look it's going this way now so that's okay and then a connector to the server shape to shape connector rather than individual points and then to the server um, we might have a router in between there actually let's just do a little router let's put a router up there and then from the server or the router we're going to individual points there now that actually is actually sat how I want it to sit but that was a bit of a fluke really that's okay um, then each PC needs to be connected into this Again, shape to shape connector. So then you don't. It doesn't matter if you move if you start moving these about. Like so, point the tool off. So if I just move this about, the line stays with it. So it's not going to do anything weird and wonderful. And let's have a quick look in computers and monitors. Nothing there. And then network peripherals. So what have we got here? Printer, let's have a network printer coming in there. Now if I'd have left the connector tool on, it would have you know, it would have just done that for me. But there you go. And then pointer tool. And then they, there you've got your item. So what's all this about? This The uh, asset number and serial number and everything. What I'll do is I'll click on one of these PCs and I'll just start filling this in. Because I'm just going to make these numbers up, obviously. Location, HR building, um, room, room 10, etc. Manufacturer, Dell, product A123, not doing the part number, not doing that. Network name, don't know. asset 1. IP address, that's just an IP address, 
not doing the subnet mask, blah, blah, blah. all this stuff you can fill in or not bother. Memory. And so on and so on. The reason I'm filling this in is because you can run lots of reports in these type of diagrams. If I go onto the review tab, you've got shape reports, which you have for all of the other uh, templates as well. But this one has got the, the normal inventory report, but then network devices, network equipment and PC report. So these are all, and obviously you can create your own and add your own fields, but there's quite a lot of information here. And if you're not filling it all in, you might want to create your own just basically create a new report and then um, start ticking things on and off that you want and you can also add extra fields in here shape data I just come out of this for a second if I go into data define shape data this is where you can add extra things or delete things if you don't want all that information so you can get rid of that and then just create your own but then if you did do that if you're creating your own items in this list you would then definitely have to create your own report because these default reports wouldn't pick up those new fields that you'd created so let's have a quick look at what these look like so if I run each one of these in turn there's not a lot of data in this so some of them might be blank you've got the option there to run it to Excel or HTML or whatever I'll just run it to Excel so you can see what it looks like so that's just giving you a an inventory of all the shapes basically and don't save that one and the next one, next one down is going to be network devices, run, do it into Excel again. Okay. There's only that asset one at the bottom there. Now, but you see, you see the information I've put in there isn't filling all these information. I didn't fill all the information in. So normally that would be filled in if you, if you use this report. But like I've already said, I would probably use my own reports rather than those. And then network equipment, run. Excel, OK. Again, just a bit more information, but not much. And then the last one was PC report. Run. Excel, OK. No shapes. All right, so that's telling you there's no shapes that satisfy whatever the, the columns are for this report. But that's how you create a basic network diagram and make it as complicated or as simple as you so wish and you can type on these obviously and you can type in these lines as well if I can get on them it's all one big long line that one but that's all I want to talk about for this session so I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one thank you for your time